Sarah Bollinger, also known as Ren Tango, and I am here in Tucson, Arizona. The Tango Festivals have opened up now officially in the United States, and this is the first one back, the Tucson Tango Festival, and I am headed out to the first evening milonga this Thursday evening, and I'll take you with me. I am not staying in the hotel, but I found a fantastic Airbnb that is only about four blocks away and it has been great. Uh, it's mellow here in Tucson. People are friendly. They're just kind of starting to open up a bit here in Arizona as compared to the rest of the country and compared to uh, Texas where I've been staying. There's not a ton of street lights, but the ones there are are these little ones and lots of people do these like Christmas lights on their house and there's a streetcar here that comes down and it's actually free which is really nice. I haven't used it yet but I will. I've been enjoying walking. <laughs> So far going well, it's another hot, bright, sunny day here in Tucson and I'm appropriately dressed for the summer and heading to a light afternoon milonga and I am super excited. I had a really fun night dancing all late last night, got a lot of great dances with both ladies and gentlemen alike and it should be real fun this afternoon as well. Stranger, I love those glasses oh, and you. I love those shoes. They would match yours. <laughs> oh, really? take a moment to just chat a little bit and uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the emotional stuff that has been happening here at the Tucson Tango Festival. You can imagine, uh, especially if you've been socially isolated or just hanging out with your cat, a lot of people have been having some emotional breakthroughs, like literally breaking into tears from taking an embrace with another human being that they haven't had contact with in a long time. I too have had a little bit of emotional time here. Uh, uh, you never know who you're gonna run into and I actually ran into somebody who I didn't know but is basically kind of like family already, family of family. Uh, and that's the wonderful, joyful thing about these festivals is you meet old friends and new friends and you dance and it's just very emotional for people who are not aware. You know, we're all like little kids having fun and playing and embracing, but also human beings having emotional connections and socializing as human beings are meant to do. So I just wanted to take a moment to to comment about that because I suspected that it would be something that was going to happen here and I'm seeing it happen and uh, 
we're post-pandemic folks and it's wonderful. It is Saturday afternoon. I am headed right now to the afternoon alternative milonga. It's about to rain, so I'm gonna make a dash for it. I know, rain and desert, right? Well, they get monsoons here, so I'm gonna go do that, have some fun, see some friends, warm up. Tonight's the all night milonga. It is Saturday night and I have arrived here at the Marriott Hotel. It is a themed milonga. Tonight is the Roaring Twenties, Great Gatsby theme. And I have decided to go with a non-traditional page boy outfit and I came prepared. Uh, I didn't get much sleep today actually, but this is coffee. I hope it's gonna help me. I don't know if I'm gonna make it till 5 a.m. Maybe I'll come and go. Maybe I'll get first of energy. We'll see what happens. But anyway, I am ready to hit the dance floor. Hey everyone, it is Sunday and I was up at the all night milonga and it was wonderful. I left with happy feet, very happy feet, and so happy that I didn't even realize how sore my feet were until I finally got to bed. And so today is the last day. Uh, there is an afternoon milonga and an evening milonga that goes through the fireworks here on the 4th of July. I'm headed right now to the afternoon milonga. And yes, I'm in the desert. It's Tucson and it's hot and yeah, that's what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a swimsuit top, a watermelon swimsuit top, and I'm wearing some leggings, and the dance hall is air conditioned, but there's so many people, it just cannot keep up with it. So this is probably going to be my last milonga of the festival because tonight is 4th of July, and there are fireworks, and even though the festival is going right through all of that, I have a family, so I'll be celebrating with them. Anyway, it has been fantastic and fun and wonderful to be back dancing on the dance floor, to be running into friends, to be making friends, to see tango performances, to see art being made uh, before my eyes, and I love it. One of my instructors who I studied with, uh, Aurora Lubitz in Buenos Aires, always said, dancers, you know, we're just like magicians. We create lines in space and then they just disappear. And that is part of the beauty and the magic of tango. And I am gonna go create some. Mm. 